Good morning guys. So, it's winter's first snow here in Gothenburg. How awesome is that? And now you can probably guess how freezing my hands are from all this, but nonetheless we shall, shall get into it because today we're going to talk about Rust and Go. And comparing these two amazing languages that are bringing something to our... Like, they are doing something that should have been done like 10, 50, maybe 20 years ago. And that is that they are bringing, they are making system languages cool again. And for those of you who don't know that, system languages are cool. Like they are really, really cool. Think about it, uh, of it this way. The problem that has existed up until very recently, well, recently is a relative word. I think Go is celebrating like eight years or something like that right now. But in recent, fairly recent time, this has become is becoming more and more of a trend, which I absolutely love because I've always argued that the re, like, uh, that all these higher level languages like Java, JavaScript, and you know all the modern languages that we have today are, in my opinion, a result of simply not having a really nice system level language to start off with. If C and C++ had had Let's say that C and C++, plus, C++, plus plus, think, you know, we go back, we rewrite history. Of course this is not going to happen, but if we did, we wrote, rewrote history and we said, hey, C and C++, plus plus, you know, we, we, we invested in these languages, they became, they had the so sort of community and support that JavaScript had, and had the same popularity as JavaScript, I'm pretty sure that they would have been the most dominant languages of today like the we would there would be almost no reason for us to do anything else in any other language because they are simply so powerful that if almost all other languages are a compromise or a attempt in improving some an aspect of these other languages which is pretty cool if you think about it imagine being that powerful imagine a language that is so powerful that everybody else just tries to basically do what you're doing but in a slightly nicer way because you're not really developing the language as fast as you should have. That's where Go and Rust comes in, because they are doing that. They are a modern take on system level languages. So let's start by th with the basics. First and foremost, what I love about Rust is that Rust is, as we were saying, it's a system level language. Its main contributor is Mozilla, as far as I know, don't quote me on that and it has all the stuff that you would love from a system level language like pointers it has uh, I, I always talk about pointers i'm sorry but pointers make me very excited because that's like you know one of the f core features of a real of a system level language which it's w where it's get, it get it gets a lot of its power from that uh, from that so apart from that it has my my two absolute favorite things about rust hands down is cargo which is, is the package management system that it uses it's really nice i wish go will take a page from from rustus uh, like the, the successes and start copying at you know as much as humanly possible from from this idea and the second thing i love about rust which is i it's I don't know how I can say it any other way. It is the most like the only other tool in IT I've ever seen do something even remotely as nice is React. React has very nice warning messages and error messages. If so, if something breaks in your React code, you get a very descriptive, very well thought out. Like they really put love into to those error messages. And Rust does that too. It has the best compiler I have ever seen. It's just amazing. I mean, because I'm one of, you know, I fuck up like at least a few times a day, you know, at least. And this is me being very, very like almost bragging because it's much more than that. And that compiler is like this amazing school teacher, this beautiful, gorgeous school teacher, he just tells me, oh, Frederick, you were doing this, and I'm trying, you know, don't do that. I'm, I'm warning you now, you know, I've been telling you to, to not, you know, make a mutation on a p past pointer to a function. You, you know, you, that's very dangerous. You, you have to think about that. And, like, it's, it's that compiler, and they really, really are putting a lot of effort in. And I actually think that that may be one of the things that makes it Almost maybe, I'm not saying better than Go, but I'm saying more accessible and easier to adopt because 
one of the hardest things in C and C++ is that the errors and like when you're making a mistake and also when you're doing something dangerous and you don't really know better, odds are that you're gonna, you know, you're, you're not gonna know what's going on because the compiler was never, like, it doesn't tell you that stuff. And it's very useful to have something like Rust's compiler to help you as you go along. And I also, and this is not just for beginners. I mean, this is for anybody. And then we have Go, which is, well, the main contributor there and the owner of that language is, is Google. And what I absolutely love about Go is that it, it does, you know, it can do virtually everything. Like, Rust and Go, they can pretty much do everything that the other one can do. But what Go has that Rust doesn't have as neat and easily is templating, web, web interfaces, API support, all that stuff. It, it's very, it has a lot of standard stuff in the standard, a lot of stuff in the standard library that is amazing for web development. So which one would you pick? Well, I'm going to tell you that they are almost equal in every single way. Uh, but if I were to guess, my guess is that Go is probably going to be more popular long term because like, if, if Go just makes a really nice, you know, if it steals the ideas that Rust has and it has something like Google behind it and, you know, Rust is still not seeing that extreme adoption rate that Go, Go is seeing right now. I'm not saying that it's not going to get there. But in my experience, Go, like Google is very good at, you know, promoting their products. And Go has, like, uh, it's a coin toss right now. I would say for now, stick with Go because it's the one that has the, st the strongest trend. But let's see what Rust does because I think Rust can be a really cool contender.